I think if I believed the Bible needed to be added to or amended, I'd, uh, I'd duck. Uh, I'd be going through life ducking all the time because Revelation 22, the Bible ends by saying, if you add anything to this book, shall be added to you the plagues that are written in it. Uh, this is the once for all delivered to the saints' faith, Jude says. Um, the, 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 this is the word of God given by inspiration. There's nothing to be added to it. There's nothing to be altered. You know, And we say this all the time. Look, the, the idea is not to bring the Bible into modern times, but to bring the modern reader into Bible times and reconstruct the biblical setting. Because the only way you can know what the Bible meant is to know what it meant when it was written. Because whatever it meant when it was written is exactly what it means now. So you have to create the context. Um, I, I would also say that... Uh, what we've tried to do in this book on 12 uh, Unlikely Heroes is stick with history. This is not fiction. And I need to say that because in the Christian world, there is a lot of fiction. And there are even fictional books about Bible characters. You can get a fictional book about Joseph and a fictional book about Ruth and whoever. This is not fiction. Well, what we've done is to tell the biblical story. The historical text of Scripture is the only source we use to tell the story of these people. So this is biblical history. This is not fiction. And frankly, the truth is far more important and compelling than fiction.